sea again. I've been thinking about heading east, perhaps convincing a whale rider to take me along on a hunt. Sounds exciting. Take care, Brian. And you, Ms. Ryan? April. Now, I have business with the innkeeper. So, how about it, Ben Rime? Do you have a cup or four of your mulled wine to spare for an old drunkard? As I remember at Westhouse, you still owe me money on your tab from before the war. My <laughs> God, you have the memory of a stick man. Miss Salmon, I've honestly missed this place. Hell, you're probably right. I owed a lot of people money back then. Uh, seeing as I'm still a bit short on cash, you'll have to add this to my tab. But I'm coming into some gold tomorrow. Old debts repaid, so uh, I'll settle it then. That'll be the day the Azadi decide to just up and leave. Money first. Mulled wine after. You're a tough woman, and I respect that. Ah, I, I have to tell you about this tavern I visited in a town near Altaban. <laughs> ah, okay. So you can actually listen in. Which turned out to be fermented pig's blood. <laughs> he couldn't, he couldn't stand up straight for three days. <laughs> Southlanders. So you have visited Altaban and Mount Terba. I've been further south still. To the Capes and beyond. I tell you, if you think the winter here is harsh, you should count your lucky stars. There are lands beyond the South Sea that are frozen through both winter and summer. The sun is as cold as the moon down there. Well, I do not intend to leave Mercuria. There's enough foreigners here. No need to travel for months to find more of them. Alright, um... I'm kind of wondering, what, when did April lose her ability to shift? Is it directly after the longest journey one? Or when? Because has that been explained yet? Because I don't, rec I don't recall that at all. It's probably just me being, having a brain fart moment, but I don't know. Also, I found it very uh, interesting to be able to go to the Dark People's town, essentially, because they play a role in The Longest Journey 1, but it's kind of like, hey, I'm one of the Dark People, and here you go. Here's one of the key items you need in the whole game. And then they just bring you back to Mercuria, and that's it. Within like a couple of minutes, they just appear from after being summoned or asked to come by the white uh, white dragon of the dry kin. So yeah, definitely curious to learn more about them because honestly, I don't remember, I don't know anything about them, anything at all. So I'm guessing we just uh, turn right there and ask around on the market. But maybe we'll trigger our cutscene here. Also, I uh, really like... Ooh, hello. Who are you? I just don't understand all this fuss about freedom and democracy. What's so different about Mercuria now that the Azadi run things? It smells the same to me. She's a funny old girl. She's a funny old girl. Is there going to be something here? Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. So let's not even try. But yeah, I I, I really like the uh, you know the memory of a stick man. They they again play a smart well. A a small role in uh, The Longest Journey 1. They're basically on one chapter in which you're stranded on a, a certain island and essentially April just you know is walking through the wood and uh, suddenly there's just like a yell of YOUCH or something like that 
and it appears that there's a uh, stickman, which talking trees, small ones, hence the stickman, not I don't know tree ants or something. So yeah, they were kind of funny. Reserve your spices for delivery tomorrow. Morning. Why, hello there, Mum. What no. an absolutely wonderful day to experience. Okay, so who would would any of these vendors know anything? Last God, the new administration has introduced so many taxes and fees, it's hard to make ends meet down here. Rebel activity in the north has delayed deliveries, Last so I don't have much left Ooh, to say. Ooh, can we go in this district now? Yes, I'm sure someone here would know it. Oh, this should be good. This should be good. Excited about this. Should be a very interesting area. Though, for now, it's incredible. Wow, okay. Oh yeah, this looks this looks a lot more like the Lagos Journey one. Potions, herbs, curiously shaped cookies, everything a wizard, witch, or warlock may require, using only the finest organic ingredients. Elguan bladders, rat tails, dung. Yay. He's Dolmari, and therefore he has to live inside the walls of the magic ghetto, or he'll be arrested. Here in Old Town, you can still get herbs and potions that the Azadi have outlawed. They raid the market from time to time, but people are getting good at hiding their merchandise. He's Zed. There are fewer and fewer of them around these days. Most have left the city and gone east. Old Town's not a bad place to be. If only the Azadi would leave us be, like they promised they would. Conditions in the ghetto aren't bad, all things considered. We got food and water, and there's medicine and herbs for everyone. What we don't have is freedom. Which is very important. Uh, well, this guy seems important. Wait, that man. He looks very familiar. Why am I thinking of moving stairways? Oh god, don't, t don't tell me. Okay, let's just see if that is actually who I think it is. Good God, Roper Class! It is. At your service, milady. What may I do for? Wait. I know you. Where do I know you from? April. April Ryan. Oh uh, well. How lovely to see you. Say what? It's been too long, my dear. Too long. Uh, yeah. I guess it's been... long. What have you been up to? This and that. How lovely. Me? I'm rehabilitated. Okay, this is going entirely different than I expected it to. Uh, to explain, Robert Clax is, again, someone from The Longest Journey 1. There really is a lot from The Longest Journey 1. Especially in, the, in this chapter so far. God, so many references. In every conversation there's been one or m multiple references, so... That's kind of neat. Uh, essentially, this guy had... Imprisoned the wind. Yes. He made the wind stop. There was no wind. Ergo, no trade. Ergo, no sea travel, which was very important. And uh, he also turned people to stone. Entire armies turned to stone, and all those people were tortured. And he was just the evil wizard. And uh, yeah, we beat him, and now he's happy to see us, which. Weird. Rehabilitated. How could an evil wizard be rehabilitated? Couldn't care less, but how or why he was rehabilitated? Just go for the top one. Rehabilitated? How so? Being soundly walloped by you was the best thing that ever happened to me. Really? Oh, yes. It gave me perspective. Time to think. When I finally escaped that confounding device, I joined WWWA. Uh... 
Wicked Witches and Warlocks Anonymous. It's a marvelous support group for wizarding professionals. <laughs> oh. Oh, it helped tremendously to find others who shared my uh, affliction. Affliction? A desire for evil deeds and world domination, your basic, um, EDWD syndrome. I see. And now? Cured! I'm free of my desire to conquer and control, and I'm happy to be a simple merchant and published author. I guess that's a... a good thing. It is. It is indeed. So, April Ryan, is there anything I can do to help repay what you did for me? Huh. Calculator. That's actually... that's just spoiling one of the puzzles in the game, though. Uh, I'm curious to know how we got out of that calculator I trapped him in ten years ago. Hmm. Do not want to know. Uh, an author... don't really care... just ask for help. I actually do need some help. That's great! Anything to assist the woman who turned my life around. I'm looking for a way to get to the City of the Dark People. Visiting old friends, I take it? Your adventures are the stuff of legends, April Ryan? <laughs> By the way, did you ever read that pamphlet they published? The one with the amusing drawings, April Rye Bread and the Rod of Joy? <laughs> Unfortunately, no. <laughs> well, I'll never forget that illustration where the Dolmari lady takes the rod of joy and sticks it right... Anyway, about the Dark People City. Ah, yes. <laughs> what do you plan on doing there? I need to visit their library. The library? Indeed. They are collectors, these Dark People. They collect all sorts of knowledge. Arcane, forbidden knowledge. <clears throat> anyway, as luck would have it, there's a shadow ship docked down in the harbor right now. I'm sure they'll let the famous April Rye... I mean, April Ryan, I'm sure they will give you passage to their city. That's perfect, thank you. Hmm. I forgot what he told me about the dark... What? How do I get to the dark people's library? No, oh, there's... No, okay, thank you. That's enough now. Thanks. At your service, milady. If you ever need a potion or a charm, visit Roper's Spells. Visit Roper's Spells and Feltress for premium quality right. potions. Right. Okay, let's uh, talk to the other vendors, though. What do the Azadi want from us? Why have they stuck us in here? We haven't done anything to them, and we can't help who we are. Old Town's getting too crowded. Visit it just Roper's wasn't built to house so many people. No, it doesn't seem like it. But, uh, let's see if we... No, can't go in there. Let's see, you know, if this leads anywhere else. Alright, that's this. Hello, who are you? What can Steam Technology do for you? The question you should be asking is, what can it do? And the answer is, nothing. Mm, my question, though, is, who's this kid? I want to be a soldier when I grow up, with a uniform and everything. Hmm, okay. Uh, how the hell do I get to the docks, then? Let's see, I can walk down there. It, it would have to be from the marketplace. There, there was that door that was previously locked. That, that has to be the city gate. And I'm just going to be hoping that they will be open now. That would be uh, very helpful. Old lady still there? No, it still looks blocked, and there's a guard still blocking it, so... Spices. We're all out of spices. Not hopeful. And I'll deliver tomorrow. Maybe. The local girls are very friendly. 
I guess you like men in armor. No. Perhaps I have to circle around? 